Is rain nature's sauce? Uh, you asked me that question and it was as if you jammed every key on the typewriter in my <laughs> brain. Justin Warner here with the one, the only, Chris Gethard. And today, my friends, you guessed it, we're gonna eat the universe. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Today we're gonna make a Tony Stark inspired dish, something that like Tony would be served at a basketball game. In one of those boxes. That's what they call them, right? When I have sat in the upper deck looking jealously, I have referred to those as boxes. I see, well, today you are Tony Stark. Wow. So one thing I love about lobsters and, and Tony Stark's is they're kind of like the, the Iron Man of the sea. They got plenty of red, they are painful, and they've got armor. That is a shockingly good analogy. All right, so uh, we're gonna dispatch of these uh, lobsters. We're only gonna use the tail. Have you ever done this before? No, I, I don't cook. Okay, today is also your day. Yeah, I'm All right. into it. How did you get into comics? I got into comics, I, when I was a kid, my parents took me to like a campground. We used to go camping. And they had a, a, a general store on the grounds and they were selling three packs of comic books. I got one, it had a classic X-Men. Oh really? Yeah, and an issue of Fantastic Four. It was an issue of Fantastic Four where they fought the master of pandemonium on the moon. Wow. And it was a classic X-Men where they were in the Savage Land and Banshee was on the cover in like a Tarzan like loincloth outfit. And I was all in, out of the gate, all in. Lobsters are filled with delicious green stuff. The green stuff is good? Yeah, this stuff like in a sushi restaurant, that would probably be like nine or 10 bucks. Just for that little pile of goo? Yeah, I'm cutting through here. And this is an easy way to get lobster out of the shell. A lot of people are like, well, how do I do that? I've been to restaurants where they expect you to break it open yourself. It's never gone that well for me. So look, this is a chopstick. I knew that. And this is gonna be the base of our lobster corn dog. But yeah, you can rip it open. I'll scoop okay. off the guts. I'm gonna take off my jacket okay. because I like this jacket. Okay. And I have a feeling this is not gonna end well. First you just did that. Yep. And now Good we job. have the tail. Yeah. And I'll, I'll use this spoon to scoop out the stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get this coral and this miso out of here. Would I technically be your sous chef right now? Is War Machine the sous chef of the Iron Man universe? I mean, kind of, right? You're doing it. Oh, see, that's the problem. Don't worry, the next task is gonna be, oh, oh my God, I feel so bad. No. You did it. It's perfect, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Nailed it. Okay, and then I take this stick. Yeah. I feel pretty good about this so far. Okay, now you get to make sauce, which is really exciting. Ooh, sauce. I've given you your sauce ingredients right here. Mm -hmm. That's Japanese mayonnaise. Ooh, it's a weirdly soft yeah. container for it. Just put all these things in the bag, and it, you don't have bag. to use all of it. You can make a sauce in a bag. Yes. Really, so I squeeze these in there. Yeah, and then add all of this caviar, which uh, I would say is probably $79. $79 for that? $79. And we're gonna put it in a sauce? Yeah. I'm borderline white trash from Northern New Jersey. But to us, you're Tony Stark. Okay. While you're doing that, what was your first interaction with Tony Stark? Well, I actually remember it very fondly. My dad, he was a very hardworking guy. He used to sometimes work on the weekends. And I think, looking back, he probably felt a little guilty about that. Mm. So he would try to make it a fun thing of like, do you want to come to work with me on the weekend? He got me a hot chocolate in his work cafeteria. And I read five or six issues of Iron Man right in a row. It was a very fond memory. $79. How much did the lemons cost you? Fat cat. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Sixteen dollars a lemon, chef. How much uh, this would we like? Whatever you think. Okay. You know, sauce. So here I have uh, all-purpose flour, some cornmeal, finely ground. Does this feel excessive? Because I'm a big mayonnaise fan, so I went pretty hard, I think. No. No. Add a little more, even. Woo! That tells you everything about my exact role in America's class structure, is that I'm drowning the expensive caviar, because I'm like, I like mayonnaise. You know this stuff, right? That's salt. Yes! Speaking of salts, this is baking soda. This is baking powder. This is sugar. Am I doing what I'm supposed, I have no idea if I'm supposed to be doing this. Yeah, I mean, we were done a long time ago, but you're doing a, a, such a good job at it. I was like, might as well keep it up. Sure. So we've made a, a, a dry mix. Now we're gonna add some wet stuff. To really corn out this corn dog, we're gonna add some creamed corn. Creamed corn. Yeah, this is gonna give us some texture inside of the actual batter. This is the finest of buttermilks. So you can just add that. All at once, you're like in a swirl. I think maybe I overthink cooking. I think so. 
Yeah, I feel like I did a good job right there. You did a great job. Thank you so much. You so, didn't watch. I, I visibly saw that you did not watch. What other Marvel characters are you into? I was huge on Spider-Man and like pretty much every kid of my generation, the X-Men was where it was at. Mm. I was also born with this weird thing in my elbows and oh. my, my knees and my fingers. So the idea that the X-Men's origin story was just that they were born weird. I remember reading that and realizing like, oh, they didn't get bit by anything. Nobody set off a bomb. It actually turns into, I think, like the most uh, beautiful origin story for kids who feel like outcasts, right? I love it. Sorry for my emo answer. Before I open this, did you notice? Oh, it's called Fancy Champagne, Chateau de Tony? Yeah. Now, I don't drink alcohol, but you've told me this will cook off. Oh, 100%. All right. Okay. You want to stir? Here's a comic book related development in my life. I'm having a midlife crisis, so I've signed up for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu classes. Oh, cool. And then I have an X Men themed rash guard, a Spider Man one, a Punisher one, a Thor one. I recently entered a tournament and I got a bronze medal. Wow. There were only three people in my division. But I wore an X-Men rash guard, so I felt good about that. Ooh. Ooh, that's like a funnel cake. Yeah, stand back. Yeah. Wow, this looks pretty good. You know what would make it better? This, this? How about this? Ooh, what is this? This is gold leaf. And it's not bad for your system to eat metal. I think it's good for your joints, actually. Ooh, I have horrible joints. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna sauce these good guys up and I will see you at the table of taste. Thank you so much. I'll just bring this with me. Cue the sound effects because we are in the box at a basketball game with Tony Stark and we're gonna see what this tastes like. I can't wait. Okay, dive in. I'm pumped. Thank you so much for this. Yeah, you bet. I will, I will caution you, this thing will fight back a little bit. What does that mean? It might be difficult to eat. Oh. I can really taste the gold. The gold on your lip is amazing. I'm so sorry about it. No, it's great. So shame. <laughs> no, don't. I'm happy to leave. I'm not embarrassed. I'm also happy to keep eating more so it gets more ridiculous. No joke, this is delicious. So do you think of Tony Stark where, I mean, you're a Knicks fan, right? I am a Knicks fan, yeah. Lifelong, yeah. which is a fate worse than death. <laughs> would you eat this at a Knicks game? Yeah, I would. Hell yeah. So speaking of competition, you have a book called Lose Well. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, it's like this idea that sometimes everybody feels like a loser, and I think maybe sometimes there's social constructs in place to keep us feeling that way. Mm. And especially if you're a creative person, I really feel like failure is an ally, and we spend a lot of our young lives convincing ourselves that's not the case. So it's a pretty funny book with a lot of stories. I feel like you're writing the origin story for future heroes. I'm a melodramatic person, and an or a good origin story goes a long way. What other irons do you have in the fire? That was an Iron Man joke. Nailed it! That was really good. I still have my podcast going. It's called Beautiful Anonymous, and you can find it on the Earwolf Network, and the way it works is I tweet out a phone number, and whoever calls it, I just talk to them for an hour. I'm a real workhorse and a real machine mm. who's ready to go to war. Ooh. Thank you for being here, but also thank you for being the first person ever to finish the entire dish during the allotted tasting segment, as we like to call it. It's free lobster, I'm, not, I'm no fool. That's all the time we have on Eat the Universe. <laughs>